Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel 100 Ideas. The layout of the estate begins with a basic idea, subsequently overgrown with additional elements and details. It is worth noting that excessive cluttering of the site with flowers, sculptures and other elements is outdated. Now it is important to create bright and catchy details, leaving maximum free space. When developing a plan, it is necessary to take into account the natural relief, the shape and size of the plot, the location of a private house and other structures, the type and condition of the soil, the groundwater level, location of the plot relative to the cardinal directions, plans that are already available on the site. Stages of project design Creating a sketch on a piece of paper in which you need to mark existing buildings. Definition of functional zones and the location of garden paths. Development of an electrics plan. The choice of style. Selection of plants, flowers, trees and shrubs. Fencing is a mandatory attribute of the site. The presence of artificial reservoirs. As for the zoning of the space, it is important to divide the estate into the following zones Garden and Vegetable Garden, Recreation Area and Living Space You can also add additional buildings here – sauna, garage or terrace It is better to place a gazebo, swing and benches in the recreation area A children's playground should be arranged nearby so that children are always in full view of adults Cousin paths, hedges and trees are used as elements dividing the estate into functional zones. How to start organizing a terrace? The first thing is to think, do you prefer to prioritize the outdoor dining room or a living area? 
The guidance is key to choosing well because the sun and shade you will condition the hours of use of one or the other. The best advice. Do not try to cover too much and do not fill it with furniture. Choose based on the shape of the terrace and the rooms that face it. The most important thing is to think about when you are going to be outside and what you see from the inside. It is important that you like it. If the decoration inside and outside is similar, your house will look larger. What furniture should I choose? Choose quality furniture that is well resistant to the outdoors. To be collecting and removing or covering furniture, at first it does not seem to matter, but in the long term it is an inconvenience. You will find a variety of styles with furniture in aluminium, steel and natural woods. How do I protect myself from the sun without losing my views? There are alternatives from the wind and the sun, from simple awnings to glass enclosures, which can be opened or closed depending on the moment. If you like the view, but you don't want to lose privacy, play with media such as lattices or planters with tall plants. How do I calculate how much space I need? If you want a sitting area, calculate that a sofa or a chill-out bench needs about 9 meters too. If you prefer to occupy your terrace with a dining room so that the table and chairs fit well, also calculate 9 meters too. If you want a barbecue or auxiliary furniture, add a couple of meters. Details that matter. Fabrics and lights. Fabrics. The variety of outdoor fabrics is becoming more beautiful, resistant and of quality. It is very important to look at the table and make sure of the proprieties of each fabric. Choose fabrics that guarantee to be waterproof, resistant to UV rays, with anti-stain treatment, anti-mold and that withstand temperature changes. They are a bit more expensive, but the investment is worth it. The lightning. Plan at least two different lights. Indirect and decorative light. In the points that you want to illuminate. A planter, a plant, a lattice. This lightning will make you enjoy the terrace in a relaxing way, even from inside the house. Then, direct lightning to turn it on when necessary. When we go to dinner to read, you will get it through spotlights or floor lamps.
Advantages and Disadvantages of Natural Stone Garden paths made of natural stone not only demonstrate the exquisite taste of the homeowner, but also emphasize the landscape design, becoming part of it. Stone is a universal material that can be used on any site, regardless of its shape and size and style. At the same time, the decorative functions of the stone are not its only advantage, because it is worth noting the following advantages. A wide range, which allows you to choose the material depending on its color and texture, shape and size. Laying a stone path does not require special equipment or special skills, which means that you can do without workers by doing everything with your own hands. Long service life, regardless of environmental factors. The stone is not afraid of moisture and temperature changes, high mechanical load and other methods of exposure. Of course, natural stone has not only the positive aspects described earlier, but also disadvantages. The inability to accurately calculate the material. The stone has an irregular shape and non-standard dimensions, so it is impossible to guess the required amount. You will have to buy more material or disturb the slurps. Heavy weight, which affects the difficulties with loading and transporting natural stone. The high price is another disadvantage that you need to be prepared for since the costs are fully justified by the lack of repair work and the surface life of the material.
Any hostess of a cottage, a small private house, will strive to decorate the territory that surrounds her possessions. A special role is assigned to the front garden, the adjacent territory which is located directly between the facade and the fence, which is in full view of everyone, being the face of the house. Therefore, the question almost always arises – how to make a beautiful and original front garden that will attract the eyes, transform and complement the overall appearance of the estate? Let's try to understand all the nuances. First, you need to decide how you would like to decorate the house territory, to understand your taste and preferences. You can study photos of various design options for front gardens in front of the house and find a decor that you will use as a sample in the future. All front gardens, according to the degree of openness, are divided into two types – open and closed. From the name of the first, it is clear that with this type, the space adjacent to the building will be clearly visible both from the roadway and from the porch. In this case, the house territory does not have a fence. The role of the front garden is performed by a neatly trimmed lawn with a path leading to the entrance to the house, with flower beds located on it. The second option assumes the presence of a fence. The area around the buildings is surrounded by a hinge or fence. If you want privacy on your site, then you can install a high brick or stone fence that will reliably protect you from prying eyes. If, on the contrary, you want to view the street from the yard without any problems and you are not confused by extraneous views, choose small fences with slots and holes, wooden or, for example, forged. The front garden in front of the house can be decorated in different styles – romantic, oriental, classic, rustic, etc. It all depends on the wishes and preferences of the owners. The main rule is to ensure a combination of the kindergarten with the style of the house, other buildings and zones on the land. The design of the front garden in the Asian style will assume the presence of thin perennial plants, low conifer trees in combination with stunt shrubs. For this type of decoration, a prerequisite is the presence of elements such as unprocessed pieces of rocks and natural stones. In order for romance to be in the air in front of your house, build garden picturesque arches with curly, delicate plants, numerous narrow winding gravel paths. Flowers in such a front garden should be bright and at the same time gentle. Lush peonies, charming esters, dahlias, roses will look great here. The rural rustic style is characterized by carelessness. It will suit both urban buildings and small country houses. Such a place will be distinguished by unpretentious plants, mainly perennial, a wicker fence or a picket fence. The general appearance of the house territory largely depends on the chosen fence, which, in addition to their protective, also performs a decorative function. Currently, there are a lot of options for fences. In all this diversity, it is not difficult to find a fence that will perfectly fit into the overall picture, will correspond to the general style of decoration, both at home and the territory around it. The classic option is a fence for a front garden made of wooden picket fence. It can be of different sizes, with holes between the structural elements or without them, of various colors and shades. The wooden fence will be relevant at all times. Its main advantages are environmental friendliness, accessibility and a wide variety of forms and finished structures. If metal grills are installed on the window openings in your house, then the arrangement of the same forged front garden will be an excellent idea. An open work fence with a similar pattern will visually form a complete picture and single ensemble. Brick and concrete fences are also very strong and reliable. 
If they are combined with the facade of the house, you can opt for these two types. You can also fence the front garden with a stone fence. This material lies under your feet, so it is considered the most affordable. With the help of stones, you can create an unusual interesting fence without spending a lot of money on it. We hope this video was useful to you. Like it, write your comments and subscribe to our channel. 